Hey there, hope you're having a great day and welcome back to SnowRunner. But this time, we're properly in hard mode. So today, we're going to get straight into it. We're doing peer recovery. And uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've done something like this. I've been away, I've been working. Uh, but now I'm back and I can record for you all once again. So yeah, just to show, when I pause, the save is in hard mode, so instead of having to artificially sort of follow it as I was doing with manual repairs and uh, refueling, etc., it is now forced. So yeah, we're carrying on, heading for the regional objectives for Tamir, but we've got to do a few side, a few other contracts before we're able to to get one of the, the last ones completed. So we've got to do peer recovery, uh, drilling equipment, and then there is, that's gonna be a lot of damage. And then the, uh, the last mission itself. So if I, yeah, so before we get to Derek delivery, we've got to do drilling equipment delivery and peer recovery. So we've got to go down here to the broken pier with one oversized cargo and two concrete slabs, which will mean revisiting quarry. So, ooh, it's going to take it easy for the hill. So yeah, we're using the Tega and I've just got the regular uh, five slot flatbed. Has the flatbed got stuck on the rocks? I think it has. Take it easy. Or is it going to do it again? Come on. I know I did the I did the live stream just over a month ago. So that was between projects away which is why there was only oh god look at that boulder that is right handbrake on uh yeah so sorry i was uh on about the the live stream which i did before between offshore projects as a celebration for hitting 400? Was it 400? Um, or was it? I can't remember if it was four or 500. Uh, because the growth in the last few months has been phenomenal. We're now at what? Six, 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 five? Which, yeah, even though I've been on basically a break because of work for the best part of like two and a bit months nearly three months and the channel has continued to grow like crazy amounts it's just unbelievable so massive thanks to all those all the new supporters they've come here from various videos mostly from the azov video um <laughs> we've got something coming soon that would kind of be supplementary to that type of video where it aims to provide provide you with a good start if you're starting fresh uh, say for like a second playthrough or something and you don't want to mess around with all the early trucks that uh, are a bit naff oh god oh god I remember coming through here and time's gone by it's a deeper mud. It's very deep. Uh, I believe when we did this co-op, we had very similar issues. I think I might have rolled over, actually. Like that. Oh. 
Okay, well, it doesn't seem like we're going anywhere. So we are moving. So we're going to winch from the trailer to the tree just to drag it. Yeah, there's like a fairly well hidden camber in there. Pretty rough stuff. So yeah, I've not played... Well, the, the only SnowRunner I've played is that live stream. Uh, and that's... Yeah, that's the only time I've played in the last, like, three months. So I've not really done anything at all. Let me just check which is the best. Oh, Alex got left. Yeah, so it's going to be interesting to get back into it. Also, the year two stuff is going to be coming pretty soon. And which I'm so far behind. <laughs> As I'm still in year one maps. But what I'm going to do is when it comes to moving maps again try and do a little vote people can say in the comments where they think i should go next i mean i was thinking of going to the coft peninsula for um some some real punishment yeah thinking of going oh the cola peninsula oh it's lake coft and amandra yeah you know for for a brutal beaten because why not you know I've got the trucks that make these maps pretty straightforward now there's still a few trucks I'd like to get hold of which would involve going to Wisconsin but things are expensive to do now I think for things like that right Stay well, part one done. Uh, oh, okay. There's not going to be much cargo going in and out here because, well, there's not much space for it. So now I've got to go back to quarry, quarry area, get some slabs. I thought about doing the using the twin steer, but that's exactly what I did um, last time for the last video, building the garage. So, I don't know. For some reason, it seems a bit cheap to just use that exact same method again, although I know it works. And it's probably the, the better option. Right, so which way do I want to go? Ooh. Mm, do I want to risk that or just stick to the way I came? Now there is a resupply zone up in there and I shouldn't feel bad for using it. Because it's there, it's available in hard mode. Unless it makes me pay for it, which is fine. But let's have a see. Let's see, I've not played any hard mode at all yet. This is this is the first time. Oh, so that means yeah, I can't change the time of day. Yeah. One more aspect of it, I've just remembered. Resupply. You don't have add-ons or Oh! Oh I see. So if I had a service bed or a or a tanker. Fair enough. Because yeah, you would normally just drive into that and it would re-equip you. There you go. Every day is a learning day. So yeah, I'll talk about where I've been. So at the end of April, I went to work off um, the Republic of Ireland off the south east coast for an investigation for a potential future wind farm. So I was on a, a jack-up platform at sea to one, you know, a ship with legs. And we were, yeah, drilling boreholes over the side, uh, doing lab testing and logging, you know, all fun stuff. And then I had 
just less than what two weeks off um that's when i did the live stream so that was back in may uh, was it may or early june maybe early june uh, but then after that, I went to Spain. So I traveled to out to Valencia to join a survey vessel to work in the Mediterranean on uh, on a project that went from, say, Valencia to uh, Mallorca. And it was very, very hot the entire time. It was hot wind, hot rain, sandy rain, but mostly just hot. And I saw a lot of pilot whales. There was one evening where a huge pod came around the vessel. And, uh, yep, we spent a lot of time taking pictures with the crew and just letting them do what they wanted to do. And I got back uh, just, well, just about a week ago now. So yeah, that's that's where I've been. But uh, hoping to have a little bit more work this year, just to round things off. Well, let's have a look. Should I go? I should not go right. Oh no, I'll go left. Just, yeah, one more bit, just to sort me out, and then it'll just be this again. These concrete slabs might be a huge pain to get through all that con uh, <laughs> to get through the concrete. Nope, to get through the mud. It's a shame we're never able to fix this bridge. Said like use a crane. We should have been able to use a crane, but like a green hex there. Come with a crane. Pick up the metal bits. And put them on a put them on a truck. Basically, like recycle them, like we do in um, in the Wisconsin map. Was it the first one that did that? Yeah, in in Yukon, where you could tear down the warehouses and like the and the actual houses. Uh, oh, again, froze there. Yeah, for uh, spare parts, you should be able to tear down that bridge and and rebuild it. But obviously they're not going to retroactively change the map now. Especially with it being a base game map. Okay. Use quite a bit of fuel. Wondering, can I just pinch some... If I leave my trailer here, uh, I just pinch some out of the twin steer. That wasn't very smart. I'm not. Huh. Surprised I actually hit it. Oof, brakes aren't very good. I'm too used to the brakes in uh, Euro Truck. That's what I've been playing the last few days. Uh, playing the multiplayer. Oh, that should do me. Yeah, playing the multiplayer uh, beta with friends, started a new profile, and uh, yeah, it's weird to be back at a low level in your truck, where my main profile is over level 30, you got like 13 million in the bank, and a huge fleet of trucks, so I can basically do whatever I want to. But yes, it's cool to be, you know, back at the beginning. I've got to level up everything again and, you know, I've only got two drivers. Right. So we're in the quarry. Hella dark. Oh, I think there's. I just remember because it's been so long since I played. I've sort of 
not remember what I've got. What I haven't got. Uh, is, it, is it this way? Uh, no, that goes... That's up to the rift. Um, yeah, I think there was some of the small scouts I wanted to rescue. Not, not the Don. The, the other one, the little... Little Tuz thing, because they're pretty good. It's a good, uh, it's a good scrambler. Oh dear! Right, quarry time. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's a. I actually, I even rewatched the previous video to know where I was at, and I, and obviously I drove past that tanker. Uh, so I clearly remembered that it's there. There's only 500 litres left in it. Oh dear. Righty -o. Down into the quarry. Quarries in Euro Truck are a lot easier to drive around than these ones. Will I be able to reverse down that ramp this time? Or is it best if I just carry on around? <laughs> be interesting. Mm, I'm probably. In fact, I'm absolutely not going to reverse out of the quarry like I did last time. Articulation point is just adding, but just adds a point of weakness. Reversing can be finicky enough in this game as it is. across these rocks. Oh, that went well. Yep. Concrete slabs. So, is that like a lunch shed or does somebody live in that? I mean, there's somebody in there right now. The light's on. Yeah, don't mind me. Just coming in. Taking some concrete slabs and then uh, I'm away. Not that you quarry for concrete because it's a man made material. The trail is not liking that. Come on, Tega. You got this. Hang on, this rock goes, just goes back down. I uh, should have gone out of the way I came in. Or... Or I drive forwards up here. I always... I don't know why, but I always expect low plus to be a little faster than what it is. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. All right, just got to turn. S 
straighten up when I get by this pole. Over the mound. Come on, dig deep. Yes! And that is how we do that. That is how we do that. Right. What? What have I hit? I bet it's a tree stump. I didn't because it's night time obviously I didn't even see it coming yeah. okay just have to set a slightly longer route Yeah, the twin steer just glided over that section. But I swear half the stuff you hit doesn't appear until you've already driven over it. Like when I was rescuing the dam. I parked my truck there. Got it into a winch position. Changed trucks, brought another one back, and then there was a huge boulder there. That is definitely... No, not that way. I'm glad the tanker was there as a reference point. Oof. Yeah, the game does like to kind of spawn things under you. Like when you drive through the mud and the, the boulders just decide to spring up. Like Goombas in Mario. They can come up in such a way that you end up getting stuck. Right, and we'll zippity do through the map to uh, finish this bit off. There we have it, we're pretty much done on the home stretch. So yeah, this will be the recurring norm once again. The uh, weekly SnowRunner videos, uh, trip reviews and stuff on a Friday. So they'll alternate with uh, Battlefield 4, as I'm very excited for Battlefield 2042. We've got Total War Warhammer 2 content update, which is actually coming out this day, the day of recording this, the 14th of July, 
and as and when I can, any SnowRunner co-op or Euro Truck co-op that I, I deem worthy to be recorded will probably come on a Sunday and there will always be the F1. So I want to thank you very much for watching. Uh, consider liking the video, leaving a comment and even subscribing for more and have a great day.